Hi, so today I want to talk to you guys about surf rescues and the challenges first responders face when going to these calls. So you got to understand what a surf rescue is first of all. It's where people go out into the ocean, they get caught in the rip current or have gone out too far and they can't make it back into land. So they call for help or somebody on the shore calls for help and the local police or fire respond. Now the options for those responders are, is very limited. They can go out and try to save the person themselves but they risk getting caught in the rip current and it's actually can claim more than one life that day. So it's really not a viable option. So option number two, which is the primary option in uh, today's practice is to call the Coast Guard. To find the people in the water, call the Coast Guard. You have to wait 20 minutes to an hour, depending on where the Coast Guard is at, for them to get out there, find the person, pick them up in their boat or with their helicopter. So I've put together an idea that may save many lives, an idea that's much more affordable to the local jurisdictions, so whether it be the fire department, police department, or some other organization. It combines my work and my hobby. So what I've done is I've taken my Phantom 4 drone, which is just a standard DJI Phantom 4 drone that you can purchase from their website. The link will be below in the comments. And I've rigged it with something I got from GimbalGuard.com, which also is down below. And it's there's a light sensor that goes through a box to the servo. And so you fly out there, you find them on your camera, you hover over them, and you use the servo to drop them a flotation device. You'll see there's a pin back here. So that, when I hit click my light button, moves in and out and drops whatever's attached. So what you do is you attach a key ring through there and you fly out to them. And once you get above them, you drop your payload, which in this case is going to be a flotation device that is water activated. So this hits the water, inflates, they can grab a hold of it, and then they'll help keep them afloat for the 20 minutes to an hour they need for the Coast Guard to get there and save them. So it's a pretty simple design, it's affordable. The whole rig is going to cost you about seventeen to eighteen hundred dollars. So I put a video after this to show and demonstrate what it can do. Uh, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Thank you.